Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial, Functional Analysis Class Number 49. In this video, we learn two theorems and one definition. Let us see the first theorem. If 0 and i are i b, 0 and identity operators on a Hilbert space capital H, then 0 star is equals to 0, i star is equals to i. Further, if t is a non-singular operator on capital H, then t star also non-singular operator and t star power minus 1 is equals to t inverse power star. That's it. So, it, it is very simple and easy proof. Let us check one by one. Let capital H be a Hilbert space 0, i r 0 and identity operators identity operators defined on h defined on capital h now we have to show that the first condition 0 star is equals to 0 we wish to show that 0 star is equals to 0 you can read it as o star to prove this, let us consider the inner product. Consider the inner product x comma o star y which is equals to o x or 0 x comma y. Already operator mean adjoint of an operator. By the definition of adjoint of an operator, we have this. You observe that inner product of x comma t star y is equals to t x comma y inner product of t x comma y this is nothing but the definition of adjoint of an operator the definition of adjoint of an operator so by using the definition inner product of x comma 0 star y is equals to inner product of 0 x comma y this is nothing but inner product of 0 comma y this is nothing but 0 this is nothing but 0. This 0 comma inner product can be written as written as x comma 0 y because you can replace inner product just 0. Inner product of x comma 0 is 0. Again you can write inner product of x comma 0 y. In the left side we have in the left side we have you observe here inner product of x comma 0 star y in the right side we have inner product of x comma 0 y where x is not equals to 0 obviously you get 0 star y is equals to 0 y again y is not equals to 0 implies as y y get cancelled on both sides you simply get o star is equals to o or 0 star is equals to 0 which is the required first property so next we wish to show that i star is equals to i identity operator i star is equals to i so again to prove this consider an inner product consider an inner product inner product of x comma i star y is equals to inner product of i x comma y which is equals to we know that i x is e nothing but i i x is nothing but <laughs> x i x is nothing but x because of i is identity operator i x means i of x it gives only x identity operator does not change the value of the element so you simply get inner product of x comma y so by using the same thing you can write x comma i y so therefore we show this inner product of x comma i star y is equals to inner product of x comma i y which implies as i star y is equals to i y which implies as i star is equals to i so inner pro, uh, identity operator star is equals to i so the, the adjoint of an operator of 0 is 0 adjoint operator of identity operator is again identity operator next in the same theorem you have to show that there is a third condition i think you see here if t is non-singular if t is non-singular operator on h then t star also non-singular operator on capital h this is also simple condition to prove this let us take t is non-singular 
let us take capital T is non singular if the operator is non singular operator then T inverse exists it means T power minus 1 exists and also we know that T star is also I mean adjoint of an operator is also an operator on H an operator on H such that such that T star is also an operator on H so okay uh, 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 leave this point we use that point next time let us take T is non singular so T inverse exists T inverse exists such that T inverse exists such that T into T inverse is equals to identity operator or it is equals to T inverse into T T inverse into T now taking whole star on both sides T T inverse whole star is equals to I star so al already we learned some properties already we learned some properties in the previous theorem T1 T2 whole star is equals to T2 star into T1 star by applying that condition you can write T inverse star into T star is equals to I because I star is equals to I because I star is equals to I <coughs> now you can shift I star is equals to I in the left side also you can take the same conditions here which is equals to T inverse T whole star which is equals to T star into T inverse whole star T star into T inverse whole star now which implies as T inverse whole star T star is equals to T star into T inverse whole star which is equals to identity operator this implies as they are inverse together they are inverse together T inverse whole star I'm sorry T inverse whole star is equals to T star whole power minus 1 this completes the proof of the theorem yes you can conclude here only itself but you can write this step also T star also an operator over Hilbert space capital H but no need to write that point here that's it so right uh, we learn one more very very important definition here and then we, we prove a theorem self adjoint operator self adjoint operator an operator T an operator T is called self adjoint operator important word to remember an operator T is called self adjoint operator if it satisfies the condition T star is equals to T if it satisfies the condition T star is equals to T if T star is equals to T then T is called self adjoint operator self adjoint operator so right next we prove a theorem let us see the statement if a1 comma a2 are self adjoint operators on capital H then their product a1 a2 is self adjoint if and only if a1 into a2 is equals to a2 into a1 they are coming they are they are commutative with respect to multiplication let us prove our theorem let capital H be a Hilbert space let capital H be a Hilbert space and a1 comma a2 are self adjoint operators a1 comma a2 are self adjoint operators on capital H then by the definition of self adjoint operators a1 star is equals to a and a2 star is equals to a a1 star is equals to a and a2 star is equals to a so right now our aim is to show that we have to prove that we have to prove that the product a1 a2 the multiplication the product a1 a2 is self adjoint is self adjoint if and only if if and only if they are commutative a1 into a2 is equals to a2 into a1 we are going to prove this suppose a1 a2 is self adjoint first part 
सपोज ए वन इंटू ए टू इज सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ऑपरेटर इज सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ऑपरेटर इफ इट इज सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ऑपरेटर देन इट इज ऑब्वियस ए वन इंटू ए टू होल स्टार ए वन इंटू ए टू होल स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन इंटू ए टू सो बाई यूजिंग प्रीवियस प्रॉपर्टीज यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस ए टू स्टार इंटू ए वन स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन इंटू ए टू दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट वी लैन इन द प्रीवियस थीरम टी वन टी टू होल स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू टी टू स्टार इंटू टी वन स्टार सो आलरेडी हियर वी सेट दैट ए टू स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू ए वन स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन एम सॉरी दिस इज हियर आई आई डोंट राइट द नंबर रिमेंबर दैट ए वन स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन ए टू स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू बिकॉज दे आर सेल्फ अट जॉइंट सो दिस ए टू स्टार दिस ए टू स्टार कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक दिस ए टू इंटू ए वन स्टार कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए वन विच इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन इंटू ए टू दिस कंडीशन शोशस ए वन कमा ए टू ए वन कमा ए टू आर कामुट ए टू दे सैटिस्फाइज द कामुट ए टू एक्सियम सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट वी टेक ए वन इंटू ए टू इज सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ऑपरेटर सो ए वन ए टू होल स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन इंटू ए टू बाई यूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी यू कैन राइट ए टू स्टार इंटू ए वन स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन ए टू अगैन ए वन ए टू आर सेल्फ अट जॉइंट सो ए वन स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन ए टू स्टार इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू बिकॉज दे आर सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ऑपरेटर्स सो सिंपली इट बिकम्स ए टू इंटू ए वन इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन इंटू ए टू देर फोर ए वन कमा ए टू आर कामुटेड टू ईच अदर अंडर मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव द कॉन्वर्स पार्ट सपोज सपोज ए वन इंटू ए टू इज इक्वल्स टू ए टू इंटू ए वन वी हाव टू प्रूव दट द प्रोडक्ट इज सेल्फ अट जॉइंट नौ कंसिडर नौ कंसिडर ए वन ए टू होल स्टार बै डेफिनेशन बै प्रॉपर्टी ए टू स्टार इंटू ए वन स्टार बै द डेफिनेशन आफ सेल्फ अट जॉइंट ए टू इंटू ए वन here you see that a2 into a1 is equals to a1 into a2 so a1 into a2 what we show that a1 a2 whole star is equals to a1 into a2 this shows us a1 a2 the product a1 a2 is self adjoint operator is self adjoint operator on hilbert space capital h that's it so this completes the proof of our theorem so we conclude that here the product a1 a2 is self adjoint implies and implied by a1 into a2 is equals to a2 into a1 so remember that here in this video we learn the definition of self adjoint operator self adjoint operator means a star is equals to a then it is known as self adjoint operator t star is equals to t then it is known as self adjoint operator and the product of two self adjoint operators is again self adjoint if and only if they are commutative they are they are commutative under multiplication and also we learned that zero star is equals to zero i star is equals to i and if t is any operator then t star inverse is equals to t inverse whole star so in this video we learn all these things keep learning wish you all the best in the next video we learn one more theorem depends upon the self adjoint operators keep learning